Hello out there to you. Let's do a video on using marginal analysis to decide how much to produce. So it's a production example using marginal analysis. So here I've got output, which means a uh, number of widgets. And remember, a widget is a fake product. Uh, so it's just an example. Uh, and then here's what I've got total costs. I know I can sell the widgets for $30. And how many widgets should I produce? So the way to answer this question is what I want to know is uh, at what production point or what output will I produce where my marginal costs or my additional costs equal my marginal revenue, okay? And so in this case, I'm going to sell all the widgets for $30 each. That should make sense. Uh, usually companies sell all the products for the same price. So in this case, it's $30, okay? So that's how much I'm going to sell them for, and I need to know what is the marginal cost. So I'm going to put a column here for marginal cost and I'm going to make that slightly bigger there and then uh, what I want to know is should I produce it okay uh, I'll just put produce it okay and so the profit maximizing uh, uh, condition here is that I'm going to produce where marginal cost equals marginal revenue in this case marginal revenue is the price so it's really the same thing as saying uh, this okay and so I'm going to produce where uh, up to where my marginal cost equals 30 because that's the example here that I have here. Okay, so how many widgets should I produce is the answer I'm trying to trying to solve here. So uh, it's implied that when I'm producing nothing, uh, then I wouldn't have any total costs, right? So it's the difference here between producing one and zero is the additional cost. So that's uh, going to be 10. Now here, uh, it's going that second unit actually cost me 20, okay? And the reason is, is because I had already paid 10 for the first unit, and that second unit is 20. So the way, to, the way I do this is I say, what's the additional, because marginal means additional, it's the additional cost of that second unit, or what a lot of people find to be easier is they say, uh, what is the current cost minus the cost we've already uh, done. Now the real formula actually is divided by the change in output. So marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in output. But in this example, that's going to be one because I'm just increasing by one unit each time. Okay. So I can actually copy the formula all the way down. Uh, and I've got here, so I've got an increasing marginal cost. They're getting more expensive because of diminishing marginal returns. So the question is, should I produce it? So this first unit Okay, uh, I, it cost me 10 additional dollars. Uh, I'm gonna sell it for 20, so do I produce it? And the answer is yes. And I'm gonna put these columns in the center here, okay? Uh, and then this one, I'm gonna sell it for, or I'm gonna sell it for 30, cost me 20. Am I gonna produce it? Yes, okay? This one, uh, I'm gonna sell it for 30, it cost me 25, yes. Now this guy cost me 35 to produce the fourth unit. I'm only going to sell it for 30. The answer is no. I don't want to sell that one. I don't want to produce that one because I, I it's going to cost me more than I've actually uh, uh, I'm actually going to sell it for. Okay. So this is the answer here. And if you wanted to know actually what the profit was um, or how much it was, okay, it's just uh, the difference between this. Now that's going to be in dollar sign. So let's let's do it. Thirty minus this. Okay, and then just copy that down. So this this is why we say profit maximization because after that the fourth unit I start losing money. Now if the the widget price were to change and say it went um, I don't know up to forty dollars. So the answer here by the way was was three. And if the widget price were to change if it went up to like forty dollars then I'm going to produce everything because uh, I'm going to produce right up to there. Okay, I'm going to make profit on that unit and I'm going to break even on that last unit. So then I would go ahead and produce it. So that's how to calculate uh, how many units to produce in a production example using marginal analysis.